And it's just um okay and I think uh just um, you got so it's unpaid. <laughs> Um, you guys on Zoom, can you just see me or can you see all the other people as well? Can you just see me? Or uh, just you. Only you. Just me. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Thank you. Okay. Ready. Hi. Welcome. Okay, so today. Hi. <laughs> Okay, welcome. And today we're doing a little um, vinyasa flow, and I'm gonna just I'm going to teach you the same class that I'm teaching at the studio at the moment. Okay, so it's not a beginner's. It can be a little bit challenging, but we'll just see how we go. And if anything doesn't feel good for any of you, particularly shoulders, because we're going to be focused on some binds, then please don't do it. Okay, you need to just check in with your body. I know you've been doing a lot of yoga, so modify if you need to and take it easy. And let's see how we go. Okay, so if I, I stand here, you guys can see me. I don't know if you can hear me okay, though. Let's just check. Okay, if I stand here, can you hear me on Zoom? Okay, so I'm gonna- We can hear you. Okay, great. We can hear you. You're standing a little bit close. Am I standing too close? Oh. Just like a little, a okay. little bit better. Okay, and you can still hear me? Yes. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so let's get started in Supta Bhattasana. So lying down on your back. And bring the soles of the feet to touch, making knees butterfly up to the edges. And then just take a moment to relax your hands, your arms, whatever is comfy for you, and check in with the shape. If it's too intense in the inner groin, you can try to move your feet away from the pelvis. If you want more sensation, if you like to see more opening there, you can draw the feet a little bit closer towards you. But just make sure that it's comfortable enough to stay in for a few moments. And if it's not, then you just change your shape to constructive weight. And it also goes for if it starts to get uncomfortable, you don't have to stay, you can just switch into constructive weight. So do your feet on the floor and then you find it together. Okay, so you saw that up with the little shape. Invitation now for you to gently close your eyes if you have any. Feel your lips. And start to trace the breath a little deeper, a little fuller in and out of life. And use all the space that you have out in front of you. So when you breathe in, let the chest lift and rise and feel the belly lift and rise as well. And your exhalation, let the breath stream out of the nose as you feel the thickening of the belly closer towards your thighs as you breathe the air out. Take a few moments to start to develop a rhythm of breath pattern and any flow of full deep inhale and exhale, something that feels comfortable for your body and your mind. Now just take these first opening moments as an opportunity to prepare mentally and physically for a full practice. Let yourself slip away from cognitive thoughts into place and space where you are more fully grounded and focused and rooted in your physicality in your body. Just take a moment to check how is your body feeling this afternoon. To drift away from cognitive thoughts and cognitive thinking, you should be able to quiet and fill your mind with the week. Thank 
treated for really good quality marbles over there. Staying with everything that you've now established there. So a smooth, fluid breath and a calm, clear mind. Go ahead and take your hands to the outside of your thighs and gently bring your knees in close. Good. And then draw your knees to your chest. You can hold your shins for a moment. And then start to bring in some easy movements. So gently rock backwards and forward. It's not backwards and forwards, sorry. Side to side. I just see somebody sent me a message. Side to side. And maybe you start to encourage some movement into the feet. So maybe you circle up into the ankles or you flex and point the feet. Maybe you hold the knees and do big circles into the hips. So move the knees out and in like you're stirring a pot on the stove. Good. All right, and then holding the front of your shin or holding the back of your legs, very, very gently, start to roll your pony backwards and forwards along the length of your mat. So start off nice and slow. And if it's comfortable for your spine, you can make the movements bigger. And if not, you can make the movements smaller. And then use some momentum. And when you're ready, you're going to roll over and cross your shin and come to tabletop. Sorry, we just seem to be battling with the sound here. Good. Okay. So tabletop, four-point kneeling. And as the name suggests, feel the four points of contact with the floor underneath you. So hands underneath your shoulders, spread your fingers nice and wide. And then just feel the hips let, and the knees, let them settle underneath your hips. Good. Let's breathe together. As you inhale, you arch the back. You drop the belly down. It's a cow spine. You're taking a little back bend. Good. And then as you exhale, you pull the belly in and up and round through the upper back into your cat. Nice. Again, inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, a little lift of your chin and your tailbone. And then pull belly in and up, round into a cat spine as you relax your neck and gaze towards your feet. Nice. Again, inhale, drop the belly, smooth out the movement so you can smooth out the breath. And then exhale, cat spine, belly in and up, round through the upper back, push the floor away, spread your shoulders. Good, again, inhale, belly down, heart and chest forward, shoulders roll away from your ears. And cat spine, exhale, breath, belly in and up, and just pause at the bottom of that breath out. Good, find a neutral table on your inhale, you tuck your toes behind you. Very slowly, downward facing dog, send the sitting bones up and back, nice, up and then slowly, you work to straighten the legs a little bit more, but you're welcome to have a bend in the knees. Okay, so bring in some movement here. You can bend the knees. You can pedal out through the feet. Anything else that feels good. It's quite a nice opportunity to get into a full body stretch. So maybe you move the hips from side to side, get into the waist. Gentle shake of the head from side to side. Just encourage you. Don't want to carry tension in your practice. See if you can just let some of it go. And then when you're ready, you settle into a static downward facing dog. And lift the sitting bones and the tailbone up. Nice. And then as much as you're lengthening up, can you send the energy down into your hands? Think gecko hands. Spread your fingers wide and stick your hands to the mat. Nice, Carl. Beautiful. And then relax your neck and gaze towards your knees or your thighs. And let's breathe with that ujjayi breath. So smooth oceanic vibrational breath moving in and out of the body. You start off really gentle, right leg up, gentle three-legged dog as you breathe in. Good, bend the knee, flare open the hip. So peel the foot up and over, not all the way, but like you're trying to draw to the left-hand side of your mat. And you can circle out into the ankle joint. You can circle the hip joint if you want to by circling the knee around and try and isolate the movement. That's where it gets a little bit tricky. Good. We stay for a breath in and you squeeze heel to glutes a little bit more. And then around as then, you're going to take a big step outside your right hand, drop the back knee down and come up onto your fingertips. Nice. And then as you inhale, drive the hips down and forward, shoulders away from the ears. 
And then wide half splits as you exhale and you send the hips back. Maybe you move your hands back, flex the front toes, the time to make the front leg. So if you pulse it on the breath, inhale, you come forward as your mother's lunge, shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, take it back to half splits. Remember to flex the front foot and the left leg. Again, inhale, come forward as your runners lunge, shoulders down and back. Nice. And then exhale to your wide half splits. And you can linger in this one, relax your neck. And just feel the sensation as you stretch and breathe into the back of the right leg, stretching its center half straight. Good. Stay with me. You come forward to your lunge, you get your hands flat, tuck your back toes at the arm and ready. And we're going to tuck to a child's pose. So you take the right leg back to meet your leg, your knees are on the floor, your toes are tucked, and you just send your sitting bones all the way back and down. Tuck to a child's good. And then there's a little subtle connection, not getting tummy and chest and thighs, and a chance to relax the back of the neck. You just build a little bit of softness here. Good. Okay, don't move yet. Next move, you're going to choose. You can either spring to a high plank or you're going to come to hanging cobra. Okay, so you ready now? Shift into whichever shape you've chosen on your choosing your inhalation. I'm going to do hanging cobra, just like an upward facing dog, except your toes are tucked. Good. And then lift the hips up and then push back into downward facing dog as you can see. Good. And so your fingers, make sure you have the same shape. Each and every time you come back here, nice high one too. Good, check that you're breathing. And then we go nice and gentle, left leg up, two little goggles as you need that. And then bend the knee, open hip, stack open hip above open hip, and then you circle into the ankle. And circle into the hip joint, push up into the stretch your legs up, with the left leg hands up, not your heart. Yes. Relax your neck, keep your down dog shape, so don't take your body shift forward into any sort of plank pose, just sit down and face your back. Good, and then stay for the inhale, squeeze, tilt your bum a little bit more. Runners lunge, very gently, set your left foot outside your left hand, drop the back knee down and come up onto your fingers, just build the space. Good, as you inhale, you drive the hips down and forward, shoulders away from the ears. Wide half splits as you exhale, send it back. And this is just a little taste that might be a little bit Take the case on the first flow, and then these pulses as you inhale, you come forward. And each time we do that, you just feel a little bit more open. And then exhale into a wide half splits, similar to flex the front foot. Good, you go again, inhale, shift it forward, shoulders roll away from the ears. Good, wide half splits as you exhale, and this one you're going to linger, so stay, relax your neck. Feel the stretch in the back of the left leg, flex the left foot. Good, you come forward to your lunge, you plant your hands flat, you breathe in, keep the back toes tucked, and we go tuck to a child's pose, knees down on the floor, knees together, sitting bones all the way back and down to your big ears. We're not staying, we're moving, you choose either high plank or hanging cobra. So inhale to arrive in whichever shape you're choosing. Good, and then hips up high, push back to down the face and down as you exhale, let your neck relax. Good. Shift forward to a high plank on your inhale, shoulders over wrists. Bend your elbows just a little because you're going to hold it on the exhale. Bend your elbows, you're in plank. Straighten your arms as you breathe in and listen. Crouching dog, bend your knees, bump to heels, chest to thighs, gaze towards your feet, sit low, sit back. We go again, high plank, inhale, you're going to spring with your toes, shoulders over wrists. Bend your elbows, it doesn't have to be a lot, just bend them a little because you're going to hold. Good, straighten your arms, high plank, you inhale. Crouching dog as you exhale, bump to heels, chest to thighs. If you need your knees down, we do the little drop bend of the elbows, you can do that. We go again, high plank, inhale. So drop your knees if you need to. Bend your elbows just a little, you're gonna hold and exhale. High plank as you inhale, push it up, bump your thighs. Crouching dog, exhale, bump to heels, chest to thighs. We go one more, inhale, you should feel something to your shoulders, high to the leg. Bend your elbows just a little as you exhale. Good, high plank, you breathe in. Crouching dog, you breathe out and pause. And then ragdoll, step your feet behind your hands, come to the top of your mat. Good, and then just lay it here, bend the knees a little, your feet are hip width distance apart. Surrender the entire weight of your upper body over your thighs. And you can hold up with the elbows. You can take a gentle sway of the body right to left, side to side. 
Nice. And then come through to the center. Let your fingertips drop to the floor. Bend your knee. Keep your chin tucked. And slowly unroll all the way to standing. Let your arms, your head hang freely. And then you start to feel the spine stack until you feel head up the shoulders. And then roll the shoulders up back and down. Nice. Good. You can bring the feet together, do toes touch, maybe it'll get between the heels. Good. Okay, high mountain as you inhale, lift the arms up, lift the ribs up. You're really, really tall. Forward fold as you exhale, hinge from your hips, fingertips to the floor, and then tuck your chin to complete your pose. Good. Halfway lift as you inhale, and what a nice tabletop flat back. Good. And forward fold as you exhale, relax and soften your neck. High mountain, inhale, you press down to your feet with the arms up, and then hands up, and then hands to heart, and even some sit here as you exhale. Good, again, high mountain, inhale, so building just a little bit of flow, getting the breath. Forward fold, exhale all the way down. Each of these one knees is pose and tuck your chin. Nice, halfway lift, inhale, you lengthen to a flat back. Forward fold, exhale, you soften and relax the neck. Good, high mountain, inhale, press down through both the four feet, lift the ribs up, reach up tall, and hands to heart for a moment as you exhale, relax your shoulders and soften your neck. Good, high mountain, inhale, we keep moving, we keep breathing. Start all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold, exhale. The halfway up, Uttanasana, big breath in, listen. High plank, hands down, step your feet back, take your feet apart, get foot distance apart, ready in high pose. Good. You take a big breath in at the top of that high plank, and then you lower all the way down to your tummy. Please use your knees if you need to, and try and do it in one straight line. Beautiful, you guys. Nice. Untuck toes. Cobra, inhale. Can you peel your chest up and tuck elbows into ribs? Nice. Exhale, you let everything soften and back down. And you can inhale, Bhujangasana, lift the chest, shrug shoulders down, keep your back body to switch on your work. Nice, exhale, soften everything to the max. And again, inhale, float it up. If you want to lift your hands to a floating cobra, make it a bit more challenging, we can. Beautiful, exhale, soften and lower. Pull toes under, hands stay underneath your shoulders. And you can choose high plank or tabletop as you breathe in. You can go. Yes. So then down and facing dog, nice you guys. And then go as high as it low. Take a breath in and out. Pull that little giant breath as much as you want to move. Good. And you inhale, you lift your heels. You bend your knees, you gaze forward. And you can step or jump feet together at the top of the mat. So you can hold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale, you lengthen. Forward fold. Exhale, you bow again. Good. Rise to stand. High mountain. Take a big breath in and you go straight away. Forward fold, we bow all the way down, breath out. The halfway up, breathe in. Hands down, high plank, step back. Nice and strong in your hands, strong in your legs. You take an inhale at the top of that high plank. Now you choose Chaturanga, you go halfway down, or you go all the way down to your tummy so you can go over the bed. Good, upward facing dog is your breath in. If you're on your tummy, you do cobra and tummy. And then downward facing dog all over the feet, lift the hips up and back, back to your starting point. You take a moment to catch your breath. We're going to flow through two more sun A's. As you inhale, you lift your heels, you bend your knees, you move forward. Then on end, you can step up, jump, land, top of the mat. Good. Halfway up, inhale, draw that long flat back. Forward fold, exhale, soften in, bow and down. Rise up, high mountain, bird, by soften and big breath in. Go straight away, forward fold, exhale, breath. So keep the rhythm, keep the movement. Upward, inhale, choose how you move it. Chaturanga, you go high plank to low plank. If you want to skip the spin out, you need to step back to down dog. Yep, go through your up dog or your cobra and the inhale breath. Nice, and then down and facing dog, exhale, can be set. One or two, they just in and out. One more time, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, and then you make your way to the top of your back, strap or shape. Nice, halfway lift, inhale, lengthen, forward fold, exhale, bow in and forwards, and bend the knees forward, tuck in the chair pose, arms alongside your ears, 
Good. So just sitting bones back and down. So body weight is in your heel. Nice, you guys. Your toes are soft and relaxed. They're not doing anything. They're just there for a little bit of balance. Nice. And pull the tummy in. Make it more of a neutral spine. Yes, guys. Beautiful. As you breathe in, can you drop your sitting bones a little bit lower and pause? You've got it. Forward fold as you exhale, breathe all that effort out. Your flow, halfway lift as you inhale, choose how you move it. Your vanessa, high plank to low plank, you move through your chaturanga or you drop past that and lower to the mat. Good, upward facing, inhale, big breath. Beautiful, downward facing, exhale. Good, same shape each and every time, that's the muscle memory. Good. As you inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, and then travel to the top of your mat. Nice. Take a halfway lift as you breathe in, and a forward fold on the breath out, and then just pause. We're going to start to build our flow. So here we go. Forward katas in the chair pose. Inhale your arms alongside your knees. In guide you to listen to left and right. Your right leg first. You take it behind you to a curtsy squat, and you sweep the arms down low as you bend your knees as you exhale. Good, chair pose through the center, inhale, feet together, lift your arms. Left leg back, curtsy squat as you exhale, trying to keep your weight into both of your feet. Listen, you keep your legs as they are, you pull the tummy in a little, you lift your arms up as you breathe in, listen. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna pull, leg in towards your left arm and bring the elbows down a little, like trying to touch into the elbow and catch your balance. Beautiful. You go again, step back to your curtsy, but you keep your arms up as you breathe in. Good, and then out to the armpit as you exhale, keep your balance. Beautiful, again, inhale, step it back, arms up. Exhale, stand up, knee to elbow, pause, flex the left toes. You stay for a breath in, figure four, straight to that ankle to thigh, hands to plate your heart. Just take a moment to settle into some stones in the body now. As you relax your back of the neck, Relax your shoulders and flex the foot that's crossing over your thigh. Nice. It's a single leg to Dutsana as you breathe and stand up and pull the left knee high towards your chest and lock your elbows, make your arms work. Good. And then aeroplane de Kasana, exhale, you're going to glide it back into your real first one legged dance here. And remember, it's not perfect the first time, it's okay. We just teach on the body where it needs to go. Catch that balance, spike for it. Good. And look at something that's unmoving on the floor. Your gaze, point of balance, and move. Good. Take a giant step back, man in high crescent lunge as you breathe in. Arms up. Stay for the breath out. Bend your right leg a little bit deeper. Good. And then pull the ribs in, pull the tummy in like you're sending your front body into the back one. Actually, you guys, you stay for a breath in, arms alongside your ears, lock your elbows. To the right, it's a vertical twist as you exhale. Left arm back, right arm forward, your right. Yes. Pause. And then warrior two, you're going to spin all the way around and you're going to bend into your right knee. So just make it a smooth move with the arms and warrior two is towards the front of the mat so you bend into your right knee. Good. And this is a little palate cleanse that comes through five from the start as you move in. Just taking some weight off that front leg for a moment. And then horse pose as you exhale, make a little squat and bend. Good. Two more. Inhale, right. Focus on the brakes. The movements are simple. Horse pose, exhale, squat, knees over and your toes. Good, inhale, you rise, you straighten your legs on that diagonal shift of arms. And most pose, exhale, squat, bend your knees. Beautiful, you guys. Five minutes to start, inhale, you lift. To the front, it's warrior two. So practice that little transition as you rearrange your feet and bend into your right knee. This one you're gonna hold. Relax your shoulders. Energize all the way to the fingertips and make sure you have equal weight into both feet. Beautiful. Reverse triangle as you inhale, straighten that right leg, right arm up and over away from the right hip. Extended side angle, you come forward and you reach the top arm over your ear. Good. And you spiral your chest up and under, maybe a little gaze under that top arm. Very nice. Reverse warrior as you inhale, go straight in your right leg, challenge yourself, keep it bent. Low lunge, you're going hands at the top of the mat as you exhale, and when you get there, just pause. Okay, easy twist. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling as you breathe. And now keep that right arm up. For a runner's lunge, you're going to wriggle your right foot out so that your head and your toes are out. And then lift the hips, gaze up at the top hand, left shoulder away from your ear. Just explore that twisted runner's lunge for a moment. Good. Stay with me. Drop the back knee down to the floor as you breathe in. 
Turn the right arm back, pull the left heel in towards you, going for a quad stretch to hold the foot. And you're going to squeeze the foot towards your glutes. Roll your chest open towards the right hand side of your mat. Good. And just keep your left shoulder in. Get it away from your hip. Very nice. Good. Without slingshotting, release the foot back down, tuck the toes of the right arm up. And listen again. Lift the hips. You're going to thread the arm underneath you towards your left knee like a wide pyramid variation. And you get to go to straighten your legs a little bit more. Yes. You lunge forward again as you inhale. Your back is set off the floor now. Right arm up. Go again. Exhale. You lift the hips. Straighten the hand towards your left knee and look at your left toes. You've got it. One more time. Inhale and short with the right arm up. Good. Exhale. Wide pyramid variation. Set the hand towards the left knee. Good. Lunge forward as you inhale. Lift the right arm up. Gaze up. Runners lunge. You bring the right hand inside the right foot and you pause. Find some buoyancy. Come up onto the fingertips. Have a little bend in the back knee as you breathe in. Now that's in a squat. Step left foot outside your hand. So you go down. Three. Good. Relax your face. Lift the chest and have space in Yes. Good. Stay with me. Rise all the way up as you breathe in. Make a fist with your hands at the top, really strong. To your right, it's a little side bend. I'm going to go left. You can mirror me if you're on Zoom. To your right, you take a little side bend. Good. Inhale, you come up through the center. Lift your arms up a little bit higher. To your left, it's a little side bend. Dump your hips to the opposite direction. Good. Up through the center. Release the bind. Big breath in. Slowly, Malasana, use the strength of your legs so don't just drop into it. You exhale all the way down. Beautiful. Throw your hands to the floor, set your left foot back to runner's lunge. Round your other back, catch your spine, gaze towards your left toes. Pick your right foot up and step right foot on your thigh foot and hold it. Yes, beautiful. Right leg up, really good job. Take a deep breath in. Meet your nose, body weight forward, breath out. Right leg up, really good job. Inhale. Twist underneath you, tap your left elbow. See if you can actually get it to touch underneath you, to elbow. Left elbow, left elbow, twist, 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 underneath you. Knee to left elbow, yes. Right leg up, really good job. Inhale. And now you go right into right tricep, but you take the knee out to the side. If you're opening up the hip, and you see if you can actually touch. Well done. Right leg up, really good job. You breathe in, bend your knee, play open your hip. You can stay. Or you're going to flip it up and over to wild thing or flip dog. So we're working with the back thing. All right, so flip dog on the muscles, top arm reaches up and over to the front of the mat. Good. As smooth as you can, a tight flex. And you make that point to really smooth. So you can breath in. Touch your right there, halfway down. See if you can hold that. Upward facing, inhale. Shoulders down, chest forward and up. Downward facing, exhale. Breath, so the bones high, heels low. And now you breathe. Well done, guys. Let's switch to the back of the neck because you're going to get the <laughs> In case you didn't notice. If you need child at any stage, please take it. Okay? So, what are your practice? That's on. Now you can have a child in his office. I switched them off. I switched them off. That's on. That's on. That's on? Yes, I switched them off. That's on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was I thought was on. We then need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now imagine doing this. We did this in 27 degrees. Yeah. So imagine that. Try to fix that in Okay, good. That was awesome. That was the first sign. We repeat that all on the left hand side, and then from there, we're going to do the next move. Okay. Stay with me. Let's go down the facing dog. Hips up high. Heels low. I'll be a bit risky. As you breathe in, lift your heels. Bend your knees to gaze forward. And then you travel to the top of the mat and lightly as you can. Good. Halfway lift, inhale, knee lift, lift. Forward fold, exhale, bow, and the second moment. Here we go. Chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale, so you're building up on the other side. Your left leg first, curtsy squat, get the left foot behind you as you exhale, arm down, low bend knee. You've got it. chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale, arm to ears. Your right leg back, curtsy squat, exhale, now keep your legs. Arms up alongside your ears. Put your tummy in a little so you don't feel it in your lower back. Then you stand up and you pull right into your right arm and bring the elbow down a little as you breathe out. Good. Go again. Step back as you inhale with the arms up for some balance. And then exhale when you stand, put it to armpit and pause. Very nice. One more time. Inhale, step it back, arms up. 
Exhale, knee to arm, and then now you're going to force flex the toes. You stay for the breath in, bigger full stretch, and to thigh, hands to prayer, sitting bones back and down. Okay, we will need space as apt to keep breathing. Good, stand up to a single leg to dust, and as you inhale, pull that right knee as high as you can, flex the toes. Then aeroplane, you're going to send it back, you're going to slice the arms back towards that right heel as you level out your chest and your shoulders. And you find your balance. So fix your gaze on something that's unmoving. And check that your breath is moving. Good. Take a giant step back, land the light feet high, pressing the lunge, you float your arms up on the inhale breath. And you take a little bit deeper on the exhale from the tummy and the bottom ribs in. Nice. You stay for an inhale where you are, lock the elbows, get the legs to work. If your left, it's a vertical twist, try to lock in your lower body to try not to move your hips. Warrior two, use your arms, come all the way around, you're going to bend your left knee, so make sure your knee is facing the front. Good, and we just have a little break, five point of start, inhale, like a little sweep on that part of the focus on the breath. Force pose, exhale, you bend your knees and you squat. We'll do one more, inhale, rise to your star, straight arms, straight leg. Nice, exhale, force pose, the body squat, sit low. Good, five point of start, inhale, you lift. To the front, warrior two, work that transition left, rearrange your so long as stops. Beautiful. I know you want. So please check that you have weight on the outside leg of your back foot. So your front foot is not getting all the work. You should be able to stay here. Pull up. Nice. Reverse trial as you inhale. So the up and back straight in that left side body. And the next end at side angle, come forward on the exhale, right arm reaches up and over. Little spiral with your chest up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, reverse warrior. As you breathe in, keep that bend in your leg, keep going straight in it. No lunge, no lunge. Nice and light as you exhale. So your hands are going to go on either side of the left foot to start. And then lift the left arm up to easy twist as you breathe in. And then wriggle your left foot off the mat to your runner's lunge for the breath out. So lift the hips, gaze up at the top fingers if you can, and just explore that for a moment. Lift the hips and straighten your back leg. Beautiful. Now drop the back knee down as you breathe in. Pull that foot in towards you, quad stretch, reach the left hand back to hold your foot. If you can't reach your foot, just set the intention to take your hand back. Hold the chest open towards the left hand side of the room, right shoulder away from the ear. Nice, without slingshotting, release the foot back with the left arm up as you inhale. And then lift the hips, straight the arm towards the right knee and the knee here as you exhale. Now again, inhale, lunge it forward, your back knee stays up, left arm reaches high to sky. Exhale, spread the arm and knee to your tongue, straighten your front leg and lift. Good, one more time. Inhale, lunge, left arm reaches up. Exhale, spread it underneath you, wide form of variation. Inhale, you lunge, you reach the left arm high. Lower the left hand back down inside your left foot, trying to lunge. Find some points as you inhale, relax, come up with the face, excuse me, a little bit more space, a bit more lightness. And then relax on the squat, so your right foot outside the right hand, sitting low just now. We're not staying, stand all the way up as you breathe in, make your fist with your hands at the top. To your left, it's your side wing as you exhale, lift your hips over towards the right. Good, inhale up through the center, just to the opposite way, give me a good one. And then to your right, the third side bend. Nice, arms up through the middle as you breathe in. Malasana, go really slow. So you're using your legs, you're not just using your flexibility to dump into it, you're making your body. Beautiful, hands down to the floor. You step your right foot back to run as lunge. Round your upper back, look at the back toes, and then left into left tricep, and you actually stack it on and hold it there. Yes, left leg up, three legged dog as you breathe in. Oh, can't think of the wrong name. Yeah. Left leg up, left leg up, <laughs> that's right, it's off. Meet your nose as you exhale, round one, move forward. You've got it, left leg up, three legged dog, inhale. Because underneath you, tapping your right elbow, so it's left knee to right elbow underneath you. Good, left leg up, three legged dog, you inhale. And then left knee to left tricep, so take the knee out high and wide and see if you can actually tap. Good, left leg up, three legged dog, inhale, pause, bend the knee, play open your head. Last little bit, here we go, you flip it up and over, your back bend, arm thing or flip dog, mindful of your right shoulder. Beautiful, high plank, make that as smooth as you can. And take a big breath in when you arrive there. And then lower all the way down to the knee. Yes. Untuck your toes. Turn your arms behind you for Shalabhasana Locust. 
stay down. I'm not going to stay down. I'm going to spot two times as tall your So, interlace your hands above your lower back. Yep. And then lift your arms up. Get into an upper back bend. Just squeeze your shoulder blades to get out. So, I'm going to have to go. Okay, upper back bend first. And then lock the knees, point the toes, and close the feet up as well. Tuck the chin a little so that there's some space in the back of the neck. Good. And as you inhale, you lift everything up just a little bit higher. And then exhale, the way in, down, hands underneath the shoulders, shoulders pose, sitting bones back to heels. Take a breather, take a break, rest. Good. Trace the breath and out the body. For the next time, so the same breath. So the next time we go into this, we're going to kind of flow a little more. So you can start to find that moving meditation, which is where you really switch the mind off and just focus on how the body is moving and how the breath is leading the flow, leading the meditation. So we'll go as much as possible one breath, one movement, and that doesn't mean we rush. It means we stretch the breath so we can get into every transition and pose. Okay. Um, L, did you want me to turn my mat sideways? Is that gonna help? Where is she? Uh, she's not there. <laughs> she's not there. I think it's just quite difficult to hear you when you're standing close to that glass door. Oh, yeah. there, okay. Yeah. So, it, will it help if I turn my mat sideways? I think um, that, okay. Sure. <laughs> I, think, Dave, I think if you turn your mat diagonally, because some of the stuff we can't see what you're doing when you direct your arms to the camera. Okay, so again, you see me better like this? Um, Could you come closer to the camera? Sure, then you won't be able to see my whole mat. I think it may not be able to see. Aha, we are winning. Does that help? Can you hear me better? Can you see me okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Can I please jump on the chin, please? Okay. Sorry, um, my daughter was like, no, no. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> okay. like it's jumping on me at the same time. Okay, we on that. Angle. All right. All right. All right. So make your way back to down facing dog all the way. Make sure you're lifting away from that right arm. Good. 
I want you to keep that half bind for reverse warriors. Don't move yet, but your fingertips are going to sneak out of the hip crease. That's fine. Take a reverse warrior now with a half bind. And what I want you to do is push your lower back into that arm so you can really go back bend your reverse warrior feet in. And then warrior two, take the arms out to the seat and then feel good on the front of the shoulder. Reverse warrior as you inhale, right arm up and over. Low lunge, exhale, when your hands to the floor and pause. Easy twist, inhale, the right arm reaches out. Wriggle your right foot forward to the right side, keep the right arm up, exhale. Drop the back knee down as you breathe in, listen. Bring the right arm forward, plant the forearm down. Plant the left forearm down, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee off the floor as you breathe in. Forearm plank, you're going to take your right leg and step it back as lightly as you can to your forearm plank. Five, three, four, three, two. Face pose, soften hips and pelvis all the way out and come to the toes. Well done. Take your elbows underneath your shoulders. Shoulders are back and down and chest is forward. Five. You stay for a breath in or where you are. Lower tummy and chest down, lower hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes. Nice and strong, high plank, bring your hips with you as you inhale, push it up. Very nice. Down the facing down, exhale, sit and go. Good. That one is your little bit. Big breath in and out. Nice. Okay, inhale, lift your heel, bend your knee, face forward. If you can remember, step forward with the opposite foot to where you want to do. Yes, forward fold at the top of your mat, sit and then for a moment with that. Nice jump there. Your arms are beautiful. Chair pose, all contrast in the inhale. I'm going to add a little bit on here, so stay with me. Little flying chair as you exhale, hands behind you, lift your heels and you're going to try to balance. So squeeze the knees and thighs together. Really strong your arms as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then fix your gaze. Good. Chair pose, all contrast in the inhale, arms up. Here we go. Left leg back, plenty squat. Exhale, bring lightness on your feet as you move. Chair pose, walk it up and inhale, arms lift. Right leg back, curtsy squat, exhale, light, light, light. Just your arms, inhale, you lift them up alongside your ears. Exhale, you squeeze your elbow over into the armpit. Maybe you stay with the inhale, where you can gently work to straight that leg if you like. Good, and then figure four, stretch your ankle to thigh, hands to prayer. We just sit in base if you want to go out. Stand up, say the leg to dust and a big breath in, pull the knee high, lift your arms. Aeroplane, exhale, and glide the back, take the fingertips back and with you, level shoulders and level hips. Beautiful. Step back lightly, rise to high crescent lunge, inhale, your arms lift. Your left vertical twist, lock in your lower body as you breathe out. You stay for the breath in, soften your face. Warrior two, use your arms come all the way around and then into your left knee, breath out. Beautiful. Reverse triangle, inhale, straight up and away from that left hip. Extended side angle, you come forward and you find length in the right side, body arm reaches over your ear. Nice, reverse warrior as you inhale. Big breath into the left lung, don't straighten your left leg. Come back to extended side angle as you exhale and pause. Take your top arm wrap it around the lower back for half bind. Maybe your fingertips can find the inside of your left hip crease. Then roll your right shoulder open, take a little gaze up towards the ceiling. And if you feel this in your lower back, you can do a bit of a back bend. You can tuck your tailbone under. Nice, keep that half bind. Reverse warrior. Now use that. Push your lower back into that arm so you get rid of your back bend. Good warrior two. Release the arms to your T as you exhale and let's feel good. Nice. Reverse warrior. Inhale. Big breath into the left one. Lower lunge. Exhale. Windmill hands to the mat. Left arm up. Easy twist. You breathe in. Runners lunge. You wriggle your left foot off the mat for the break up. Drop the back knee down as you breathe in. So the left arm forward, now the left forearm down, breath up. Right forearm down, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up, keep it lifted if you can as you breathe in. And then forearm plank as lightly as you can, take the left foot back to the right. Beautiful. Hold. Strong in your core. Yes, forearm plank. Who's that? Yes, Caroline, you're there. Forearm plank. Good. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Or two. Next pose, lower everything down to the floor. Good. 
Okay, so I'll end there for a moment. I'm going to turn the sideways and you'll have to see what I'm doing next. Um, some of you will have your mouth in your face. Sorry. Okay, so we're in face pose. You guys will just have to listen to you can watch. Take your left forearm. Turn it in a bit, so it's about 45 degrees to the front of your mat. We're going to take a quad stretch called Bekhasana. Pull your right foot in towards you. You're going to take the same arm back, so it's right arm back to hold your foot. So, normal instruction here is to lift your chest away from the floor. I find chest and it's my lower back. So, I encourage you to just drop the chest a little bit. That doesn't mean you sink into your shoulders. Just drop the chest a little, you know, even the front, the top of your tummy pressing into the floor. Then you're going to squeeze the heel in towards your bottom. If you can, you can pivot your hands over the top of your big toe and then your elbow points up towards the ceiling. And I find it helps if I look down because then I can get both of my hips square to the mat. In other words, I'm not rolling onto the left hand side mm -hmm. of my body and it's intense. So good. Very nice. Beautiful. And then slowly without slingshotting, you let that foot gently go and you come through to your sphinx pose, just a little breather in the middle. Reset. Okay, ready for the other side. Right forearm turns in a little bit. Pull your left heel in towards you at the same side. The left arm reaches back. Again, if you put it in your lower back, go with your chest, try and drop it down in the middle. Good. And you squeeze the heel in towards your bottom. If you can, you pivot your fingers over, get your elbow up towards the ceiling, and then try and roll the left hip down. I find it helps if I get my left. And then breathe. Nice. Very nice. Good. Good. And then slowly without any shopping, you can release that. Come back to your sphinx pose. Just stay for a breath in there. And then exhale, lower it down. And back to child pose. Or you can take down what you choose. If you want a child pick it, if you feel anything in your lower back, then go ahead and take a child pose. Well done. Okay, breathe. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Okay. Yes, of course. <laughs> if you want to more than us, please go ahead. This is not, this is not a, um... Sorry? I thought this was a big No. Catherine's <laughs> Catherine instructions were to teach the phone you teach. Um, so this oh, yeah. <laughs> this is where I'm teaching it to do this. I've left some of this stuff out. Okay. All right. 
We're waiting for Tisha. Sorry guys, we're just waiting for the Tisha. She's just gone to get some water. Sorry, I only answer that and then I'll just structure it when I start. No, so everybody has their own way because for for a lot of people, writing down sequences will work, and I don't know how Laura teaches you, but most people that I know write their sequences down. I just find I can't do that. I just get onto my mat and I work either towards a pose or it might be one transition. And if it's a tricky transition, then I think, how an easier way of doing it, and we'll do that once or twice, and then I'll bring the, the tricky transition in at the end. So the whole sequence might be sequenced around a transition and not a pose. And then I'll also sequence around poses, and then sequence around shoulder mobility or just hip mobility or whatever, but normally it's got some sort of direction, even if it's not a peak pose. Difficult to, peak, to do peak poses in the studio is because it breaks the flow. And a lot of people don't want to have the flow broken. They don't want to sit and watch while you break down us of a crossman. Okay, so they just want to move. Yeah, probably a lot of them is the only hour that they move for the whole week, two yeah. hours. So some of them just feel like they want to just move and breathe and flow and a couple of twists and a couple of balances and maybe one or two back bends and they'll be just fine. So I don't always teach you the pose. But when I do teach them, it's amazing because everybody loves it except for so when I say everybody, I'd say probably a third of the class. But they all come out and they all say, that's fantastic. We wish we could do that more often. But it's hard to teach that at the studio. Okay. Right. Health pose. Let's go. <laughs> Make your way back to downward facing dog. So when you're ready, tuck your toes, send the hips up and back down. Okay. So the last little flow is a little bit shorter one to each side, and there are some changes and some types of transitions that they want to Okay. Take an inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees to get forward, and then you can take your feet to the Let them hang on and all forward fold. Just a little breather, like a little reset back on the Shavasana to catch your breath. Come back into your body and come back to the ground. Good. Here we go. Chair pose, Utkatana, inhale, half up. Your right leg back first, curtsy squat, eight plank. So we start the same in the chair. Chair pose, inhale, feet together, lift your arms. You're going to take a drag and twist to the left hand side of your mat. The right hand side of your mat, beg your pardon. Your left foot is going to step behind you. You're going to bring your hand to pray, twisting towards the right hand side of your mat. So you have left tricep outside right thigh. Yes, beautiful. And then relax your shoulders away from you nice and tall. Good. Gaze down, stand in the splits, and it's down and lift the right leg up. Because we need more. Sorry, it shouldn't be the left leg. Sorry, I'm looking at one T-shirt. Oi, leg up. What? Right. What? Right. Left leg up, stand in splits, big breath in. Shiva squat, stands forward as you bring the knees to the back of your calf. Make sure your body foot stays flat and come up onto the toes. Good. Static splits, inhale, then take it up, relax your neck. Low lunge, you land quietly on that back foot as you exhale. Beautiful. Right to high crescent lunge on the inhale breath. And then go vertical twist to your right as you exhale. Uh huh. Tip the body backwards now, so your right hand reaches down, your left arm reaches up. Hold on to something on the back of your left leg, even if it's at the top of the hamstring. Breathe in. Orient two, you come all the way around, up and out, use your arms like you like, take them to your chest. Good. Okay, let's take a little reverse warrior on your left foot, so we can get on the same page. Extended side angle, exhale, come forward, and now you pause. And now we try a full bind. If your shoulders are not up, don't do it. Top arm wraps around your lower back. Bottom arm goes in front of your front leg, underneath the front leg. And you see if you can work the fingers. And then you work right arm underneath. Yes. Aha. And you work to pull your chest back in space. And if anybody wants to go up and do both the parallax, you can. Otherwise, you stay. And sometimes staying nice, you guys, is more tricky. The birds you can go. Otherwise, you stay on the same with you and it's hard to breathe. <laughs> Good. Good. 
Good. Go to the paradise. Come out nice and slowly. Good. We need to extend the side angle, everybody. Let's come back to that. And then reverse warrior and change it to reverse triangle right at the top. So that should feel really nice to take some tension out of that front leg. Good. And then take it slow and come into triangle. So come through the center, reach over that front leg, maybe above the back foot in a little, and then connect hand to floor or shin, and your top arm reaches straight up above your left shoulder. Nice triangle, guys. Beautiful. Equal weight into both of your feet. And just make sure your neck is comfortable. Good. Okay, hey, put a little bend in your right knee, get down towards your right leg. Let's go. A little reverse warrior. Come up and out on the inhale breath. And then low lunge, exhale, and we'll have some lights. And you guys really need to listen because this is tricky. We stay for breath in. Listen first and then maybe go. Okay, because I can't do it both ways. I just have to do it the one way. Listen. We're going to cross your left ankle behind the right. Listen. Like you're coming to a seated spinal twist, you're going to sit down, but you're going to face. The right hand side of your mat so that your knees flop over into half of the Okay, so if I'm doing it on this side, I'm going to take my left foot back up. So there you go. You come into like a half of the and you're facing the right hand side of the mat. Facing the right hand side of the mat. Right hand side of the mat. Just a little bit. Okay, so I am yeah. right or am I wrong? I am wrong. Right hand side of the mat. So you're in a low lunge, your left foot is back, correct? Right? That's where you came from. Yeah. You bring the left foot forward, you cross. And you sit down facing the rear. Yes. It's almost natural. It's like your body wants to go. Good. Okay, arm up alongside your ears, take a big breath in. To the back, take a little side thing. So your right hand is down, your left arm reaches up and over. And this is one of my favorite stretches in the whole world. But the stretch is so nice, it's the key arm. Like big muscle at the bottom of your lower back. So maybe you just close your eyes and just chin in. It should feel really nice. But I can make. We have a tricky transition coming up. You guys need to listen again. Sit up, lift your arms up alongside your ears as you breathe in. We're coming to half moon at the top of the mat. One more thing is down. Your right leg is forward, you're going to stand on it. It's very easy. Your half moon is going to be to the left. So your right fingertips are going to land. And you're going to twist and open your half moon towards the other side. Yes, beautiful. Left leg and left arm up. Nice. And then flex the air one look and check it into your half moon. Right on the right fingers, soften your gaze, you're well prepared, your body's off, happy to go, beautiful. Take a deep breath in, lengthen again, stand back to the back of your mat, slowly, it's a strong transition. So we step back onto the left leg, we bend the back, ah, yes, yes, bend the leg into the back of your mat, yes. Just pause there and flex the front. Yep, so you're going to stand back to the back of your mat, left leg is bent by toes are up. Good. Okay, last little bit on the side. Come around to forward fold in front of your mat again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it's right as lunge. Wiggle your right foot off the edge of your mat. Okay, now you guys can flex. So you can either stay, you can target your forearms down for a little lunge. Maybe the back knee is down with the chin So just check in with your body. If you want more intense, you lift the back knee up. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want more intense, you take your right arm underneath your right leg. Take your left arm, you stretch it out, come up onto your fingertips, and then you pause. If you want a little bit more, you take your arms and you wrap them around your lower back, and you pause. <laughs> so a couple of options, choose something that feels okay for your body, and then just breathe. Yeah. Good. And wherever you are, slowly, you're going to bring your hands back, drop the back knee down, so run as lunge as you inhale. Remember that wide half split, take it back there now as you exhale. You're taking a lot of weight off that front leg, so it should feel really, really nice to feel it. Okay, optional, optional, optional. Come back to your runner's lunge. You can from here take it back to down dog straight away, or if you want to try and get into this pose, you can. Okay, so here it is, pose with the back knee off the floor. Take your right knee on the right tricep. Remember, that's why we did this. Bend your elbows, touch around the arm, and then you glide into your vertebrae or your equus pedicus and if you can. Yes! Nice, you guys. And then just take it slowly back to down. Even if you have to land, just splash on the floor for a little spot. 
Well then, you guys. Good, and then breathe. Nice. Big breaths. So you know the work that's coming on the other side. So anticipate the work that's coming, and then you breathe even deeper. So the breath is your most important tool of your practice. We let you finish all that strong. Okay, lift your heels, take your knees. Can you step forward with the opposite foot if you want? Yeah, so we have to think about ourselves, we have to think about it. Good. Hang on the forward fold. Just shake out the legs and notice how the right hand side of your body feels very different from the left. And we'll pull them right back down. Okay, catch your breath. Come back to the body. Here we go. Chair pulls all the time. Let's take that pretty response. Okay. Chair pose, feet together, inhale, arms up. The left hand side of that right foot behind you, grab right, it to your left. You're twisting towards your left, so it means right tricep outside, right thigh. You're there, guys, nicely done. Look over your left shoulder, you're correcting to both of your feet. Good. Look down, standing sit, inhale, right leg up. And we haven't been there before, so you can take it a baby one, so it doesn't feel wet. Standing foot, uh, she will squat, exhale, bend your knee, through the calf, bend forward. Good, standing foot, inhale, relax your neck. Good, low lunge, big step back into exhale, you should have your right foot back. Right to high, crescent back, <laughs> <laughs> you breathe in. Yes. <laughs> to the left, it's a vertical twist as you breathe out, locking your lower body. Now you pause. You tip the body backwards, left hand reaches down, right hand reaches up. So it's a little bit of a twist in the back bend at the same time. Can you stay for the breath in? And then warrior two, come up and out all the way around. You choose bending your left knee to front. Good. Reverse warrior. Inhale up and over with the left arm. Extended side angle over with the right arm. Here we go. This is your work. Half bind or full bind. You can stay in the half bind. You're taking a full bind, left arm goes in front of your front leg underneath. See if you can lift your fingers or your wrists. And then you stay in extended side angle. If you're in extended side angle, try and lean your body into the inside of that leg. leg. Keep keeping the open. Birds, if you're going, take it slow. Nice. Okay, yes. Well done. Good. Okay. We all meet in extended side angle. Left hand to the floor. All on your calf right at the thigh right up. Good. Let's take a reverse warrior. And as you get there, change it to reverse trial. Just linger there. Take the weight off that front leg completely as you breathe in. And then slowly you find trial. So take your time. Back foot bumps in a little. Reach, reach, reach. And let's hand to floor or shin. Right arm reaches straight up. Straight up with that right arm. Yes. Good. Beautiful. Look down in front of your left toes and bend the left knee. Reverse warrior as you inhale. Let's push up and out and knee. There you go. Low lunge. Exhale. You bring all your hands to the top of your mat. You pause. Take an inhale to lunge a little bit deeper. Are you ready? You're going to sit down facing the left hand side of your mat. Your right foot you bring forward. You cross it behind the left. When you sit down, you're facing the left hand side of your mat and your left knee just pops over to the back. Yes. Inhale, your arms are lifted up, ribs away from your hips. To the back of the side bend, left hand down, right arm up and over. And again, guys, just close your eyes and enjoy. It should feel really, really good. If you want more of a stretch, you bend your left elbow more. If you want less of a stretch, you straighten your left arm. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Okay, here comes our funky transition. Arms up through the center as you breathe in. Half moon, when more hands to the front, you're going to stand on your left foot, plenty for you. Left fingertips outside, left leg, toe, your half moon, and then move towards your right. So you're going to lift the right arm and the right leg up. Yes, it's just good. Beautiful. And then light on your left leg. Soften your face. Trust your body, trust the brain, it's not changing. Beautiful, you guys. Take a deep breath in. The back of your mat slowly scans and then make your way there. Back of your mat, yes. Good. Breathe. Right. Low lunge to the front of the mat. Okay, and then this is where you can explore. Run and lunge, take your left foot out, get the toes facing out a little bit, and then start with the even version, maybe your 
back knee down, make the forearms down, lift that knee, you lift the back knee to the floor if you breathe. We welcome to stay, all the rest is optional. Okay, if you want more, left arm underneath your left leg, reach up onto the fingertips, keep your body nice and yoga, and the back leg as straight as you can. Maybe you then take a bind around your lower back and you take a little bit further. So choose and stay. Nice. Good. Slowly, slowly come out. Hands underneath your shoulders. Drop the back knee down as you breathe in. And then wide pass to so take it all the way back and just breathe into the back of the knee. You don't have to straighten. You can keep a little bend. You just want to take weight off and tension out of those muscles. And stretch the relax. Good, and then come forward to your right lunge. Okay, we're gonna leave the malasana squats. So you can go there now, or you can find a perfect knee. Okay, so herbers back and off the floor, left knee to left tricep. So you can turn the knee out, get the inside of your thigh on the tricep, bend your elbows, and then see if you can send the body weight forward and apply. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry, right, all right. Left, your left knee is the one in front, bring it from this side. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, then. Now go. Yes. Hold that one now. Yes. Hold that. Good. No, that's in the squat. Hold that, you guys. Hold that. Three. Hard work to Good. One thing to say. Okay, take yourself to a seat. Maybe one hand behind you, one arm. Hands in front of you. No. Come back to Melissa, please. <laughs> Sorry, I want to show you something funky. Um, sorry, I have been adding this and I just forgot. We're going to do some internal rotation for the hips. Okay, I'm going to move back a little bit because you guys need to watch from the front. Okay, so you're going to shift all your weight into your left foot, like you're shifting your body weight over. Your right knee, you're going to tap down to the floor so that the inside of your right foot touches the floor. Good. Take your left hand, take your fingertips behind you. As you breathe in, you lift the right arm up and then you twist. As you exhale, you twist, you hook the right elbow outside the knee and tuck your tailbone so that you round into the lower back. Take tension around that lower back and the more you round the lower back, the more you can get a twist to the upper body. And then notice that internal rotation in your right hip might be a little bit spicy. That's okay. Just sit with the sensations unless it's biting because we really don't do a lot of this and we should do more internal rotation. So this is just doing the opposite to everything that we've been doing for the last 60 minutes, which is external rotation and opening. And this is just the opposite move. Good, and then gaze forward. I like to use my fingers because the, the sensation can be a bit intense to lift up and then come back into my left hand. It'll be comfortable to just go and leave the All right, well done. Good, shift your weight onto your right foot. You tap the left knee down inside of the left foot lands as well. Right fingertips came behind you. Inhale, your left arm reaches up. And then exhale, you go ahead and you twist and round up the back, pull the tummy in, relax your neck. I remind you looking down, just breathe. Nice. Nice, you guys. You guys have got it beautiful. And then you can go forward and um, choose your fingers. You don't have to, but it just gives me a little bit more space. It feels more comfortable to come back into the back. Beautiful. Okay, now you can take a seat. All the way down. Okay, bring yourself way forward to the front of your mat, soles of your feet to the floor, knees up. Make sure there's nothing behind you so you can walk down. Okay, big breath in, reach your arms forward, palms of your hands touched up your chin, and then round your back more than you think you need to, and see how slowly you can go. Try to keep an even pace for yourself. When you get about halfway, you're going to feel like you're going to lose it. And you switch on your core, and you round your back even more. And then slowly, slowly. Beautiful, you guys. All the way up. Very nice. Nice. So if you're at the bottom, get the knee to chest. If you're not there yet, don't rush. So very nice, gentle rock side to side. Ease into your lower back. Good. Okay. Soles of your feet to the floor. Our bridge pose is different. Walk your feet away from you just a little bit, like one or two feet away from you. And then flex your feet, stand for heels into the floor. Okay, toes point up, hands alongside your hips. 
It's not an upper back bend, it's more of a neutral spine. I'm going to work to strengthen the hamstrings. So, as you're ready now, lift the hips and pelvis up. And you'll notice where the work is. If you don't feel it now, you're definitely going to feel it in a few breaths. So, hold. Stamp the heels into the floor, your toes, your feet are flexed. Good. Your gaze is up. And then feel the work. Feel the hamstring engaged. We'll feel the glutes engaged. So we stretch our hamstrings so much. We're just strengthening and enlarging them so that you walk out of here feeling a little bit more functional. Right, and then hold and breathe. Stay with it for five, four, three, two, and then roll down slowly all the way on the back. Beautiful. Gather your knees to your chest with your shins. Okay. A little bit more traction for the lower back. You hold your shins, can you flex your feet? Open the knees and take your knees and drag them. Hold your shins back towards your armpits, but keep your lower back on the floor. So you're in an upside down frog, but you're tractioning to lengthen the lower back. And that should feel amazing. Just hold that. Yeah, make sure your lower back is flat. I really like these stretch marks. Good, and then bring your knees to your chest position. And then go ahead and curl yourself up into a tiny little ball, wrap your arms across your shins, hug the knees in really nice and close. So grab whatever is your deepest grip there. Good, and then you take a nice full deep breath in all the way to the top of the back. Shove us and then exhale, let you and let it be. And as everything lands, take up some space on the left side of your mind. Reorganize your body anywhere else you need to get super, super comfy in your shavasana. And relax and breathe. Easy, natural breaths. If you want to take a couple of sides and out and lower the knees out as well, you can definitely do that. Just like you're feeling, like you're getting the energy from your practice. Off and you're breathing away any residual tension and breathing away anything that is hanging around in your mind and is weighing on your shoulders. Let it go.
Okay, and then slowly, slowly, you can start to make your way to a seat. Take your time, there's no rush. You can have a sip of water. Put a jersey on if you're feeling cold. Okay, well then, you guys, that is not a beginner's look. So we'll have talk to me. Good, bad, hard, indifferent. Did you hate it? Was it okay? Is it something you would maybe want to do again? Or... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. So just a little tip as well. Some of those transitions, I probably would have taught in other flows. So... In other words, if I'm teaching at the studio regularly and I'm teaching a new transition, I'll try and teach it more often. Like that one where you go low lunge, cross and sit facing the opposite end of the opposite side of your mat to a low lunge, uh, to a side bend. And then I'll come and I'll do different things from there. So I might come into half moon, I might come into standing sits, whatever. So the people that have been coming to the studios know my transition. So they sort of have a better idea where they're going which makes it so awesome. So I'll teach it a few times and just get people used to it because I teach a little bit differently to other people. And I like to bring in sort of different transitions and the more I teach it, the more people get accustomed to it. And then I can do the same and Okay, any other questions? No, good. Well done, you guys. So I'm coming to your class on Sunday. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> No, no, I <laughs> Great, thanks, Cecile. That's awesome. Although probably the sound wasn't great, it's just see, although actually challenging. Yeah, it's meant to be challenging. And just remember, I also left a lot of little, not a lot, left a little bit out. So well done. Good guys, thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your Sunday tomorrow. A beautiful rest of your weekend. See you again.